Hello you all, it's Agnes coming to you with three square dollar tree frames, some rectangular frame and the uh, rusty tool. <laughs> As you can see is I, I mean, this is the project I always wanted to do it for the longest time, but just never had those juices flowing. So here we go. And I know I'll be making more. So get at least the basics of that. If I mean, I hope you're going to like it. So as you notice is I am trying to pop the, uh, the backings of each frame. And a rusty tool is really handy to do this. I did not really want to remove those hanging elements, elements from the back of each frame. I just simply knock it a little harder and that was it. But you can see is those little squares can be really useful. So I'm putting them on the side and trying to figure out what I can do with this uh, frame um, that it does have the galvanized piece of metal. Um, so let's see how difficult that one will be. Well, I hope that this one is going to be much easier. All what I'm trying to do is just, um, I'm going to dissemble, dismantle the uh, the galvanized portion of it because I don't think I will be using it for this project, but I know, and you know me, there's going to be another one coming this way. And everything seems to be literally not going that difficult. I don't even have to use much of a strength. I don't have much, but look, everything is just falling apart. So good. Um, so I think I'm done with um, with taking it apart and trying to figure out um, how I can address it. And of course, as you know, my projects are, um, I collect things to make the project and then I use them for something else. So here was the another situation. So I went back and I got another frame. Um, you know, the, you can see the, the light green one. And I really love it um, to begin with a lot, but I do not know if this color is going to work um, because I do want it to repeat, um, obviously, the color. Um, I do want to have the, uh, the main color going throughout the whole project. And then I do not have that paint. So as soon as I am going to get to the stores and match this color of a paint, I will for sure make something very similar similar style using this frame not being painted because i do love every single bit of it well this frame is a little bit uh different than the rest of them i dismantle uh, it does have a piece of the glass that i will for sure not need now so i am going to put it on the side and i will go back and uh, i think i need to remove those flaps from both of those frames because i do not need them and all what i'm trying to see is if that little guy is actually working um with me um creating the layers in the middle of this um you know the, the the rectangular frame so i mean you'll go and get there in a minute with me little by little and and if you already follow me for some time you already know what was my dream to make um and this is again i'm not stopping in here i will be making them one by one as i used to i mean i used to make a lot of them for my shop obviously with a different material so now this is a portion where I am not going to really hold you too long. I am going to speed it up because this is right now all about painting and making it all uniform look. So all what I'm using right now, as I always do, I do have the chalk paint. I do like that dull look to a uh, paint that I'm using. So if you are curious, what is that? Um, it is um, Deco Art chalk paint and all the exact details, you can log into my website, justaperfectpiece.com and then go to must have products, at least the ones I have all the time and I'm using over and over. Um, you will know which ones I am using. But it's again, if um, you end up um, going to make that project, you paint your any color you possibly want. So as you notice, I'm painting the, the brown frame. Um, also, the rectangular frame, I'm painting the backing of it. And I am actually now wondering what I should do with the green one because it is pretty and I see how pretty that would have looked, but um, I just still have to think about it. So now let's move on to another portion. I am right now using the uh, the flaps um, that each picture frame had and slicing them in um, sort of the width of the uh, square um, frames, just so I can add a little bit more of a volume. And um, I didn't really measure, I'm just ballparking like most of my projects. So I am not going to hold you to it. I'm going to speed up a little bit so you can see what's the next step.
My goal is to get at least um, six pieces of the same width, I mean, not the width, the length that I can use to install in between each of the frame. I'm just trying to, as I mentioned earlier, you know, create the little dimension. So that's what I want to do it on one side and on, on the other side. So, um, and of course, now I have to go back and sort of, you know, the old fashioned way match their um, width and then, you know, install them right in between, hot glue them. Because the reason for that is that I am, since I do not have the E600, um, the hot glue builds up a little bit. So I do not want to for sure have any paint, any glue oozing out on the side, you know, even though I don't use much, but I do want to have my little construction here um, stable. So I guess I am going to continue doing the little cutting because I do like what I saw. Okay, I'm not going to, again, hold you too long with this because it is not a fun process to look at me drying. So, you see, of course, I thought my paint was dry, but it really isn't. So, here I go now, trying to, as I mentioned, match them at least uh, uh, lengthwise and install them in between of each row on and on the ends. And, of course, you can see the stickers there, but they're not going to be visible because they're going to be uh, covered with another square frame that does not have um, um, obviously the bottom and I do not know if I forgot if I mentioned already or I didn't mention that yet I am trying to create um, a little box out of them that it's going to make me I hope a cute drawer so let's just bear with me see I cut this one a little bit too wide but that's um, that's okay it's not going to show I really do not mind what happens on the inside <laughs> Okay, so I am again speeding this all up because this is repeated um, steps. I just want you to see how this all go all around. So I'm doing it right on the corners, trying to sort of distance them. And even if they are not, you know that I do love the uh, sort of antique, rustic, uh, wonky look to things because that brings a lot of character. I mean, things that I all have, it has, you know, the nice pretty edges. So sometimes surprises like this, and you know, I love those surprises are actually bringing a lot of life to a place. So here I go, one day is done. Here I go with another one. And as you see on the inside, the, those pieces are slightly wider because obviously i was just you know aiming them i uh, aiming to keep um them not you know breaking for me but um but that's okay it's it's going to be decoration inside anyway so this is the uh the kind of the uh the kits that i will be providing um soon on my site uh or just actually finished product but this is just down the road so um i just wanted to show you that but obviously it is not going to be out of the uh, um, picture frames it's going to be made out of the pieces of the wood but it's going to be as easy uh, in you know um to install as you can see it right now so um, as I am walking all around, and I guess we are sort of halfway through the project right now, if you could please, um, you know, if you feel that somebody will be um, interesting into uh, learning what to do with uh, square frames from the Dollar Tree, or you feel that um, you, you wanted to invite your friends, so just please sprinkle it for me or tag someone in the comments. I would really greatly appreciate it okay so now my frame is done and as you can see is i do have the sides of this press wood that is at the back of my um you know th th there was actually the backing of the frame it doesn't look too interesting so you know i love me my gold so um i am going to paint those edges um um you know um right now and you may be thinking why didn't i not do it before yeah, there's a lot of things I could have done before, but you know me, I love to have things to go backwards. But the good thing is that I didn't do it, is that it's actually leading me to another idea. And this is a lot of times what happens. And as you can see is... Um, it, my frames are black, but as soon as I'm going, as I'm, as I am adding the gold uh, tone of my phenomenal gold metallic paint, um, the frames do not look that juicy and nice. So I think I am going just simply dry brush them very quickly with the black. So I really do not mind if I'm not staying in lines. 
So as you can see, is everything all of a sudden when I already know my second plan, where I know that I am going to be going over with the uh, black paint a little bit here and there, I am the job goes much faster because I am going to distress it here and there. And now look how fast um, everything is changing right now. So here I go all around, and it's again this is only in four corners. So the good thing is I don't really have much of the painting, but I am actually very happy that I paint this um, I am painting those gold pieces in between each frame right now and just because my frame is already dark and it has it's it black um, I do not want to cover the entire uh, frame um, with the paint I just want to sort of add a little bit of um, you know a color to it so here I go this is the the biggest fun that I'm going to have look at this see how it's popping the gold is popping right now I am positive you hear in the background a uh, little bit of the music happening because my daughter has her dance zoom class so it is fun the music has to blast obviously for her to have fun but uh, so enjoy if you hear this. So here we go. I think I'm done with this whole thing. So it's time to start to assemble the uh, the front of my frame. So here I go again. And now I need your help to hopefully, well, I would have need your help since this is pre-recorded. I'm going to make decision myself and try to see what I can possibly do. And of course, look at me. I... I need to assemble and see if I do like this with um, the green. Should I leave it or should I paint it all black? Or just because I did have the black on those little you know pieces in between the square frames, should I just paint it gold? Should I paint the entire green frame gold or should? I Man, decisions are not easy so um what i've decided and of course i can't paint it because i can't even see the whole thing because i put my backing um for the picture on the wrong side instead of showing it black to have um to have an idea how does it going to look like i even make my life more difficult I wish that I did have a little bit of that green paint um, in the house, but I will be for sure on the lookout because that would have been a one cool looking drawer. So what I'm trying to do right now is just painting a little rim of my uh, paint um, of my frame black. I mean the gold just to see how this is going to offset because that's where I am going back and forth trying to figure out. But I do not want to cover a lot of it just so I have an idea. Of course, I may be actually wasting the, the gold paint, but what can I do? So now quickly painting the inside black to see if I like it. And a lot of times is um, th this is what happens. I, I do know what I wanted to have at the end of the day, but, um, but I do love gold. You know that I do love gold. So I don't think I like it. I think the whole frame needs to be painted black and I will just simply figure out um, a lighter dusting of gold um, all around the, the front of it. So I guess that's the decision is made. It's too bad that you did not, you were not here with me <laughs> to, to chime in. But I am so curious, um, what will be your decision? Will you leave it knowing that we do not have the green? So now I do have the little knob that obviously I do want it to use too. So, um, yeah, so I think it's better. So look at me, I painted over the black and obviously, um, and that's another thing is all of a sudden I do like the highlights that, um, the first coat of gold brought to, um, to this frame right now. So I think I am going to somehow highlight the whole thing. See, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to look. I'm so anxious right now to start the whole installation process, but I am still far from it because I do need to still paint. So as I was, um, you know, waiting for all this to dry, I decided to go over each um, side of my um, box. And obviously somehow I forgot to record this and highlighted with the gold paint all around. So now it's time to figure out what I can possibly do with my doorknob. I think this actually looks pretty good. All what I need to do is just simply distress it. So now look what happens. It, it's That's what I did. I just went all over. And of course, I'm not recording this. Um, I went all over my um, 
my frame and um, my front of the drawer and I went all the way on the side. You can see each edges have a little bit of the highlights from that gold to create that all antique look. I do actually like what I see right now and I'm thinking you're not seeing me see I'm cleaning my space area but uh so now you can see I'm going over the uh, the edges of um each frame that I have to highlight a little bit even more of each uh frame with gold so I guess I got out of track I was so excited about that's how the um the uh the whole frame is coming out and notice i am uh, adding um if i am adding too much of the gold i will go quickly with a little bit of the uh, black just so it does not look too goldy the goldish and, and yeah I, I but it's again this is all your preferences that's how i am going to do it and of course as you notice the sides i went throughout those blo uh, black um you know pieces of my um frame also i dusted with the wider brush just to bring on the top of the black a little bit of the gold i mean yeah, you know me. This is how I always do it. Now <laughs> look at me. I added a little bit too much, so I'm going over with that. And I know I will be adding more and more um, of this highlighting, but I do not want to really, you know, keep you uh, long uh, looking at it. But at least now you see what I've done. I do not know if in this whole uh, mess of me forgetting to turn my camera on, I, I showed it to you that I did paint the little doorknob with a gold, uh, the base of it with the gold. So here I go. Here I just simply have it handy, a pics of uh, the flowers that I have on the side. So you could actually put them nicely into this drawer and decorate it and, or whatever flowers you're going to be making. Look how pretty that looks. And I will for sure make some of those pictures or we can go ahead and start to build up our little garden and i do wanted to use a little bit of the uh, spanish moss and just simply fill in my box and of course that the spanish moss most likely is going to be there for a longer time because i will be changing my drawers as it goes and then we're going to be building bigger drawers to pile them up and stack them up i mean we're going to have fun for sure so um um yes you could put the foam in there you know the dollar tree foam and you know stack your pieces in there but i know myself i will be changing and adding and twisting depending on what i feel like because i do have for now a one drawer so now i'm you know putting my succulents that i purchased of course with you um at michael's and I'm going to, um, we're going to actually start making those succulents. As soon as I'm going to get the good um, felt, we're going to start to make all those funny ones. So um, stay tuned for that. So here, a little bit of my picks with my, you know, little ivies, a little bit of my leaves. And I mean, anything that your heart desire can go in there. And I'm actually do, I may am having fun. You do not really see it fr right from the front the way I see it but um, you are going to see shortly a picture. You know that this is my favorite part. I love to add my favorite pics here and there, add a lot of uh, different elements. And again, you know, we're making so many flowers, so that will be a perfect little place uh, to make it and um, to, you know, place them in there. So now look at me trying to pile up as much as I can. So I am almost ready to show some picture for you well just get ready there's going to be some because i am going to be most likely changing things as the pictures are being made it does actually look pretty cannot wait to make that drawers in a different color so stay tuned for the picture and i'm giving you the fair warning i have so much fun making those pictures so here is the one with the succulents that um i was just rearranging and it just i love this pop of burgundy in there and those little you know pearls drooping down i can't wait to start making them with you so here it is um more now with the white flowers that i was showing you the ones that we are making from a uh, coffee uh filters um, or the crepe paper, either one of them. And so here is the crepe paper flowers. I mean, I still have, um, you know, um, hard time deciding which one I want to keep it. So 
that's a good sign that I will be making many more of those drawers and piling them up in a different direction. So I really hope you did enjoy this um, project um, with me, making with me. And I hope that um, you're going to sprinkle that for me. And again, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.